Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the Vinsoft software. We are going to discuss how to add purchases, how to add inventory, and how this is going to make your vending machine business run so much more smoothly. So let's dive in. So right now I am on my demo page in Vinsoft. So what you'll do, you'll come over here for purchases. So we'll click on there and then we will create a purchase. So I'm going to show you what not to do first and then what to do. So let's just say we come right here and we went and purchased our items from Sam's, the Norman Sam's Club. And we want to add a product. Well, let's just say we bought Miss Vicky's potato chips. Oh, we hit the drop down box and it's not there, right? So we can't really add it there. There's no way. So let's cancel out of here. And then we will go over here to inventory. So if it's a brand new product that you have not used before, you will need to add it physically into the inventory first. And then you will be able to add the purchase. So let's just see. So right here under create product, we'll create the product. And we said it was Miss Vicky's. Oh, if I can spell right. <laughs> okay, Miss Vicky's. And we'll just say chips. Now, what I would do under the code, I would add the same exact name. And you'll see like on the drop down box where it shows up. I wouldn't add like a, a nickname or anything. Add what it actually is. And then the type of food that it is. So we'll just call it a food. You can put, add chips for your type. But you will I'll show you how to do that in another video. How to add the type of food. Now, I would not add the quantity or the unit cost. The units per case reorder. I wouldn't put any of that right here right now. So just make sure this blue box is checked as active. Because this is one of the products that's actually active that you're selling in your machine at this moment. Come over here, hit save. Now we'll come back to purchases, click purchases, create purchase. And again, we got this from Sam's Club. And let's just say we bought it on October 3rd. You can come here and let's say you purchased it September 12th, but you didn't have a chance to add it in yet. So let's just put that October 12th. Whoops, sorry, I meant September 12th. So let's say you ordered the product online, but you haven't received it. So you can put, put on order right here. And then once you received it, you can come back in and click received. Okay, so now if depending on your state, if you're charged sales tax, then you would add the sales tax amount right here but you should have a form from your state that you can show to the stores so that you don't have to pay taxes you know for your cost of goods so so add product and again we said the norm sam's club there we go all right so now we've added the miss vicky's you can scroll down here or we can just type in the first few letters. Ms. Vicky's comes up and we'll click that. And let's just say we bought one case. And let's just say the cost per case for Ms. Vicky's at Sam's was $18.48. Let's look over here real quick and see how many come in a pack. 30 come in a pack. So let's see, units per case, there are 30 in there and it will automatically calculate everything for you so that means that these were basically 61 62 cents each and then if this is an old product the last cost that you paid for it will show up here okay and you can add any discounts or anything like that that you received there and then we can either hit save if this is the only product that we purchased or save and new if you have a list of products that you purchase on that same receipt. So in our case, we will just hit save and then check to make sure Miss Vicky's cost 1848 30. All of that is correct. 
and then again if there's sales tax you'd add that here or if you had to pay for shipping you would add that here so let's just say that our sales tax was let's just say a dollar 48 so it would automatically add that right there um, for you or if you had to pay $5.99 for shipping it would automatically add that for you or if you just have like some special notes that you want to add right there you can add that as well or if you came back to this page you can hit save and then let's just say later on today you want to add more products so we'll come back here again and hit add product and add something else let's just say coca-cola okay and you can just add that there and then it will calculate everything for you so that is how we add purchases to vinsoft you must make sure the item is already listed in your inventory and then come back to purchases and add the items so in the next video what we'll do i'll show you how to add a product like miss vicky's where there are multiple flavors in the pack so we call that a variety pack and i'll show you how to do that so if you like this software i ask that you use my affiliate link down in the description and purchase it you get like a 14 day free trial to see if you like it play around in it if you like it go ahead and pay you know either monthly or the annual i recommend if you really love it to get the annual subscription because you get a little bit of a discount with that now it is my affiliate link so i do get a little bit of a kickback from it but you know i'm showing you how to use the product so thank you i appreciate it and you all have a wonderful day